I was asked the question, uh, what is poetry? And um, after thinking about it for just a few minutes, poetry is a, a deeply spiritual thing. Um, it's the spirit uh, expressing the human experience. And, and some people have a knack of, uh, of the poetry. Uh, some people call out words. Uh, but those have, have mastered it um, uh, intuitively um, are able to express their spiritual experience through um, the human experience. So if you ask me once again, what is poetry? I have to say it is the spirit um, expressing the human experience. Let every voice and sing Till I bring heaven, bring with the harmony of liberty. Let I rejoice, sing, rise, highly, sing, skies. Let us resound, light as a rolling sea. Sing a song full of the faith that the dark has brought us. Sing a, a song full of the hope that the present has brought us. Facing the rising sun till a new day be. Let us march on till victory has won. What will be told to generations after me about those before? And what would, what would they tell us about how they endured or a door simply opened onto us by those who just simply had enough? Like one woman who was tougher than Tar, so she led them to the far north. And you better keep quiet for Moses keeps you from lying, and she will continue onwards. How about I tell you about the spoken words broken by one gunshot and a man sought to keep the world from blindfolded. And I've told you before that this door was opened wider to generations to fight for those who chose to keep a, keep a one-track mind. And this life will never be, this life, these, their lives will never tell our stories, and this is our history. Dear audience, hear me now in case I can't speak tomorrow. You see sorrow and follow with sharks inside of water when they see blood of someone claiming to be crippled. They're perfectly well, perfectly fine, well in mind, etc. For the better of, the circumstances is handed to this boy or girl, man or woman, but you don't know of their problems. Just bother, poke, stab till you get tired of it. Retaliation is that the weak are shown. Excuse my friends in the sense that the weak are strong. No retailer owns over them. They put emotion in whatever they put emotion in. See someone trip down the stairs and laugh before helping. Only thing that's funny is showing that you're carefree. Because they act to the judges. They're guilty in abundance, blind to their mind, full of pie showing the hundreds. And I'm not self righteous because as a human, I've done it. And I'll do what's needed for my dream because I'm hungry. But to those who are scared, who's scared for real? Talk about those who spill their mind but are afraid to spill. Grab a gun, hold your genitals, threaten to kill. Come on, dog. Words are nothing, bruh. Actions can feel. So to the scared, I speak to the judges who've been judging all their lives. While you stand behind your wood, no gavel all the time. Trying to judge, you ain't God. No heaven in your spine. Only one you should judge is the one you call I. How are you doing, my niggers? I mean, my niggers. I love that little spin you made, by the way. I mean, you sincerely think that because you replace the ER and put an A that is yours to claim, I control you. You are my greatest prize. You think you've gotten away, but you will always be mine. I mean, you had your chance to go back to the motherland of which your ancestors were stripped. But you love this homeland, don't you? America's your new niche. I mean, you've taken the shackles that I put on your wrist and, and and ankles and you replace them with shiny chains around your neck. Instead of me punishing you by ripping off the skin of your back with the fury of my whip, 
Your mothers and fathers beat you with their belts. I mean, listen to your music. It's like you enjoy killing yourself. <laughs> That's why you will always be my nigga. I mean, my teachers never fail. They only took, what, 400 years? But in the end, it was worth the hell. <sighs> I mean, you never really left. For the shack that once laid under my tree is now the ghetto in the corner. And you know, you no longer beg at my feet, but you never, but you never fail to pick up the welfare check to feed your hunger. I admit that you once slipped away from me in the 60s through 80s with all that black power and soul searching shit. But I killed all the leaders that fed your mind the light and replaced them with the rappers that gave my darkness might. I mean, this genre is one of my greatest creations. Something that belittles your, your genius, closes your mind, and brings you closer to crime, it truly is a beautiful thing. I mean, a few of you think, quote unquote, because you've got some rich and you've got some money in this world now, that you have a rep? I mean, did you forget who's signing their checks? But keep it real, my nigga. Keep it trill, my nigga. Do what you want to do. But I just want you to know that the man still owns you. Christopher Hartway, John Kim Harvey, Isaiah Ware, and we are poets of Columbus after century. We sit among you each day and we all, each of us have our own stories to tell with our own set of backgrounds and our own experiences. We're here at this moment to address the matter that, of what poetry really is. See, you often get this misconception that poetry is soft or poetry is about finger snapping, black suits, whatever, but that's not the case. You see, our, see, poetry is a matter of our testimonies and what we can say our, and what we've witnessed. If I had to comment on what I think poetry is, I'd have to say was, it's about expression, it's about life, it's about who you are. I think a common misconception is that poetry is just depth and, I mean, that it is depth, but you need to, it's about whatever you feel inside. Nobody has to have the most deepest poem. Mine needs to be Langston Hughes, my Angelo. It's about expressing yourself, about love, pain, battle. It's not about softness or who's harder than the other or who's deeper, who's in touch with their emotions. Talk about whatever you want to. It could be love, pain, strife, comedy. It doesn't matter. As long as you feel as if you're getting a message across to somebody else, that somebody can else can feel what else whatever you're feeling inside, not even about trying to make a, a statement to, to get some kind of rep. It's about knowing the message and getting it across in the best way you know how. Can't be afraid to write something down. Write something down is easy, but write down your emotions, that's hard right there. That shows that you got courage enough, and if you got courage enough to go out and show somebody else stuff, you can do anything, break down barriers. It's easy to tell your emotions to your best friend. It's hard to tell it to the whole world. So putting it down on that piece of paper, reading it out loud, or memorizing it, that's simple. It's like getting up, standing in front of the world. That's what takes time, perseverance. I mean, personally, I write just to escape because I got stuff going on in my life. So to sum it up, poetry is a part of each and every one of our lives. You know, in poetry, you can be, you can be rapping up on the corner. You could be singing in the shower, at the pulpit preaching, in church singing, or wherever. It's all poetry. Poetry is rhythm and the rhythm that flows in each and every one of us. So, yeah. Poetry, like my man said, is life. Don't think that poetry is just standing up at a poem, po podium, excuse me. It's living your life. If you feel like you're living right, then that is poetry. If you feel like you're living wrong, it's poetry too. Poetry is the beauty of the world. Live in it. Remember, Lincoln's not illegal yet. And if anything, get your education. <laughs>